Oh, excuse me. <laughs> You're terrible. I don't know what I just signed up for. I feel like this is just a very clever way for you to find out what the hell is in my cell. They already know it's in your cell. What's up? It's Carmela. And I'm Corey Graves, and today we're going to find out what the hell is on my cell. Most valuable photo. Our first photo together. It's the same one. Is it the same? What's the timestamp on it? It is 7.58 p.m. We were filming for Total Divas, and it was legitimately our first date, and we had to commemorate it with a photo. Is that the right word, commemorate? Yeah, commemorate. Commemorate it with a photo. For future reference, I would never recommend anyone film their first date. Look how cute we are. You look like, what the hell am I doing on this date right now? Why am I with this crazy girl? But we look cute. You do. You do too. You're just kind of like, it's cute. Love it. I was in Connecticut. It was my parents' anniversary. I think I was actually at Foxwoods Casino. <laughs> and I got a call from Canyon saying that they want to offer me a contract. And so I was freaking out and I was so excited. So not only were we celebrating my parents' anniversary, we were celebrating my new job. Yeah, I had all but given up on coming to WWE. I figured that ship had sailed, it wasn't gonna happen. And then out of the clear blue on a Wednesday, around dinner time, I got a call and I went out on my back porch at the time to take the call. And it said, hey, we're gonna give you a job. Oh, I know your selfie face. I, I think it involves the slight this eyebrow raise, brooding. Yeah. You like, look like a cross between trying to like read something really far away that you can't see if you have bad vision and like blue steel. That's your selfie face. I'll take it. <laughs> it's actually like, Magnum, not blue steel. What's my selfie face? Do you know mine? Uh, no. I don't think you have like a ghost. I don't like feel like I have one. I'm just like, hey, I'm cute. That's <laughs> like I mean, effortless. If your cuteness. expression was a phrase, that would be it. I'm hey, cute. I'm cute. I'm like, I'm cute, but like, duh. <laughs> And you gotta get a high angle here. There we go. There we go. I have so many random weird contacts in my phone that I have no business with. What's the like most random? Just people that from from bands, like my friends that are in bands that I grew up enjoying, uh, Vince McMahon, Stone Cold Steve Austin. I have their phone numbers. Like that's ridiculous. Right. I used to, let me see, I don't know if I still do, I used to have Dan Aykroyd's phone number. What is, go what? Dan, well, I was a Laker girl living in LA, you know, you never know, sometimes you just make connections, I went to lunch with him and my friend, yeah. I was kind of hoping you were gonna be a Ghostbuster. Oh my God, could you imagine? I was thinking more like a conehead, not a Ghostbuster. <laughs> you are from France. <laughs> my kids, I can't live without texts from my kids, even though they're terrible. Yeah, they My never kids text back. Awful They're at texting awful. Me back. They really are. But one text goes a long way. Yeah. Couldn't live without this. I would say probably Natty. <laughs> we text, how much do we text? All day, every day, legitimately. If I hear more than one bang on my phone, it's like da ding, da ding, da ding. I'm like, there's Natty. Natty's awake. <laughs> we just like our little, we like to have a little, we like to spill the tea. Oh, oh my God. First of all, can I just say that Corey acts like he hates our dog, Pancake. However, when we're apart, because we're on different shows, legitimately, what, 14 times a day, he sends me updates, Pancake on the couch, Pancake on his neck, Pancake eating his food, Pancake going to the bathroom, Pancake in the backyard, Pancake on the bed, Pancake eating his bone. What's the first all day, every day. you generally ask me when you call me? Hi, baby, how are you? I love you so much. How's it going? What's new? What's the 411? Followed How's immediately by, what's my son doing? <laughs> so I figure that you like to be in the loop, okay, so I send you photos of every movement the dog makes all day. But I'm not asking for past like the morning conversation. So you don't and care about our dog all day? Of course I do, but I don't Sounds need to, to see like an update else. of him going to the bathroom, or I don't need to see an update of him eating his food or his new toy. Listen, I don't, You're send, obsessed. I don't send you any photos of Pancake that I wouldn't send of myself doing the exact same thing. <laughs> When did you put? One word answers, I put the emoji. Oh, okay. When you do that, I'm like, bye. I just, okay, I'm not even talking to you. Or the K, I hate K. K is the oh, worst. How God. lazy can I, you be? Me. You always send K when you're mad. Always. When I'm mad. K. It's like, 
Can you not put an O before it? It takes that much longer. Not worth the extra. Oh, it drives me so nuts. I hate that. We're both pretty good with waking up to yeah. our alarms. You know it takes more. Yeah, if I, I cannot be with someone with a, a snooze as Bailey has to set 20,000 alarms when we used to room together at NXT. Oh my God, it would be like, you'd have to drag her out of bed. No, I'm like, this is rude. To me, it's rude the last to set time so many alarms. She came to visit us. I had to wake up. I set I an know. alarm and she still was asleep on the floor I know. whenever I came back. Uh, yeah. On the floor? That's awful. <laughs> she went to sleep on the floor. She had a bed. She went to sleep on the floor. There's, there's some tea for you. Yes. Bailey likes to sleep on the floor. <laughs> Really? Yeah. Babe, Mr. Two Phones over here. He has two phones. That's how much he's on his phone. I'm a busy guy. Yeah, but exactly. If it were up to me, I would have zero phones because I like nobody being able to contact me. Yeah, right. You're always on your phone. Always. How many times do you find about that when we're like talking? Babe, can you put the phone down? I'm right here. I'm well informed. Always on his phone. Don't call me. I hate talking on the phone. I hate it, unless it's like to you or my sister or my mom or something. I hate it when people are like, when they text and you text them back so then they call you. It's like, just because I'm available to text does not mean I want to talk on the phone. I got nothing for that. I know. What does needy have Too to do with needy. my phone? Because via text message, if I'm not responding right away or if I don't answer a phone call right away, he's like, hello, like you're not texting me enough. He's very needy for like when we're not together. Maybe I just love you so much that I want constant attention. I love from you, you too, but like I and don't need to text you back all day. 15 minutes away from you without having you respond to my well thought out you are so deep full text of it. messages is really disturbing. So full of it. It's funny because he acts like he's like this. I work at a record store, <laughs> but he's very needy and sensitive. I am sensitive, really. What do you sensitive. mean Instagram? That's my worst habit, going yes. on Instagram? You're constantly on Instagram. That is not true. You post 27 to 40 things on your story every day. Babe, maybe on my story, but they're more inspirational quotes. It's like, you know, I'm trying to inspire people. It's fine. It's I don't just... post every day. Uh... When's the last time I posted on my feed? It's been like days. I don't really differentiate between feed and story. Oh, my God. Whatever. You know what? Cool. It's part of connecting with the fans. It's the devil. You're the devil. I'm calling him. He knows a little bit about everything. Don't let him, I'm not trying to, you know, toot your horn, but he's pretty smart. Well, toot, toot. I spend like, way too much time reading about nonsensical things just in case somebody ever calls me for a million dollar question. I would definitely, without a doubt, call my friend Anthony in Canada. He knows everything Anthony about everything. Anthony in Canada. Anthony in Canada. I'm offended you wouldn't call me. I would definitely be able to help you out. Do you remember back in the day before everyone had the internet on their phone and you would have questions that just ate at yes. you all day long? I would call Anthony. That was a good old flip phone. I had a flip phone. It was white. I believe it was a Samsung. It didn't do a whole lot of anything. And I bought it from all of America. Oh, that's a good story. Mine was a flip phone. It was silver. Um, it was not cute, and you had like you couldn't even text on it. But I got it when I was 13. So my mom said, when you're 13, you need a cell phone. So I would go to the mall with my friends, and you would need to call your mom in case you know something went wrong or like pick you up. You know what I would be doing? What would I be doing? You would be dancing or singing on Broadway. Give my regards to Broadway. That's what I would be doing. <laughs> I would 100% be on Broadway. I'd probably still be working at 911 or in jail. I'd be on the one side of the legal system. You'd be in jail? Maybe. Why would you be in jail? I don't know. Babe, no, I don't you wouldn't. Pension for stupid things. Carmela is one of the most amazing burpers I have ever <laughs> had the pleasure of knowing. Babe! That is the God's honest truth. It's impressive. I would do it, but I don't have a soda. I need soda. I can also move one eyeball at a time. Um, I'll do that for you. And that string thing that the kids like. I do a string thing. Okay, I'll do that too. Oh my God, I'm just so talented. 
So many hidden talents. These are little strings. I'm just tying them to my lips here. We're done. Okay. We're good. That's a wrap. She's Carmella. I'm Corey, along with WWE and Cricket. And this has been What the Hell is on My Cell. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe for more episodes of What the Hell is on Your Cell.